Hey, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about is I got a question about getting knee pain on the rower when you're in this front position. Uh, so some things that you can do to kind of help with that. Uh, it could be happening for a couple of reasons. Uh, a lot of times it's happening when people are like me and you have a belly or thicker thighs and you just don't have as much movement or flexibility as you might have or I might have when I was younger. Uh, so some of the things that you can do to start to work on that is one or some things to consider uh, is one, you can actually make it so you move your foot pedals, whether you're on a water rower, an off brand, a concept two, doesn't matter. Uh, the foot pedals usually move. Try moving it so your foot pedal is higher, so your heel is higher. So if you try moving this up, it's gonna make it so that you're not scrunched down as much. Uh, I wouldn't go all the way to the top, and it totally depends on you and your machine. I've got some other videos you can check out on kind of the optimal pl placement to start with, uh, but a good place to shoot for is with the strap around the thicker part of your shoe. So if you're going for, if you're wearing a sneaker, where that initial laces, and I know I'm using one without laces, uh, but where that initial laces uh, is kind of the wider part of your shoe and you can shoot for that spot. Uh, and that's just kind of a good starting spot. The next thing you can try and do is when you get to this front position, if you're really getting that discomfort from really forcing yourself into that bend, one, just don't bend as far. Uh, if you've got a belly and you find you're moving your legs out to the side, don't worry about how far forward you go. You really want to stay in that comfortable range of bend of what is comfortable for you. So if my whole stroke is from here to here, that's okay. If I were to bend more, I want you to watch how much this, um, this chain moves forward. It's not very much, but I'm causing myself a lot more discomfort and possibilities for my knee. So the more we bend it, if I'm in that really, really bent position, I'm gonna be putting more force on different aspects of my leg that might not necessarily want it. It's also making it not as optimal of a position for me to use my muscles in my legs to really be able to push. So if I'm way up here, I, I'm, I have to use my toes more, I have to use a whole bunch of other things, and I'm more likely to lead with my back and my shoulders than actually being in an optimal position. It's kind of like if you're squatting. Once you're all the way down on the ground, it's really hard to squat and stand up because my muscles aren't really ready to work. Whereas if I stop at like hip height, my legs and my muscles are more optimally in a position to really help me push and get myself up. It's similar on the rower. So just stop where it's comfortable. Don't worry about getting your legs out to the side. Try to keep them in front of you and just go to where your body allows you to. So if my belly and my thick thighs are in the way and this is all I can get, that's okay. As you lose weight, as, as things get more toned, you'll be able to go farther. But right now, just push to where it's comfortable um, and don't really worry about getting that extra oomph at that end. Um, so that would be my recommendation if you're getting some knee discomfort uh, in this front position, or if you've got a belly or thighs um, and you're really getting that, I would one, start with the foot position, um, putting that in a good spot. And second, don't worry about scrunching up as much as you can. Get into a good position that's comfortable for you. Uh, so that's what I would recommend for that. If you've got questions, go ahead and comment. Let me know. I'm always happy to jump on and make a video for you. Uh, I also have a free Facebook group. Uh, the link is in the comments, or if you're already in the Facebook group, awesome. Um, but I really hope that, you, that this was helpful, and uh, feel free to let me know if you've got any other questions. So I really hope you liked that video. If you did, I've got a free Facebook group. Uh, the link is in the comments below and you can ask me questions. I jump in, I make videos like this for you. Uh, so I hope to see you there. Join, link is below in the comments.